morning, everybody. My name is Michael Fox, and welcome to my Rose City Comic Con 2017 convention report video. Um, so if you haven't seen one of these videos before, they're basically just a vlog of me talking, and I kind of show off what I got at the con and what I liked about the convention and all this other stuff. Um, there are going to be a few pictures. Um, I think I got a few videos of a couple things. Um, uh, so it's not like... My intention was to actually film on the floor uh, with my GoPro, and then something wrong, something went wrong, and that like the GoPro wouldn't charge anymore. I think the battery's dead. It is a Hero 3, so it's a bit old, and I got it for free, so I guess I can't complain on it. Um, but I, I didn't get any any footage from the actual show floor, um, and then of course you actually like you can't film the celebrities or whatever. There's there's rules against that. So um, starting off. I like to, any convention I like to go to, I like to show off, like, the badges. Badges? Uh, um, and then I show off, like, the swag that I got, and we'll talk about some other stuff, too. So, um, let me, let me take this off. If I can get these stupid ears. So, I got, the, I bought these ears off somebody off, uh, Pinterest, and my, my daughter, my daughter broke them, so, <laughs> they're, like, really lopsided now. Um, but I thought it was, it was cool. Um, so I went and I bought um, all my tickets, I bought locally at a comic shop called Cloud9 Comics uh, here in Portland. Um, and this was the, this is the weekend pass. Um, I, I wished I could have gotten uh, a hold of um, the Saturday and Sunday passes to show off, because uh, it would have been really cool. Uh, at least I think it's cool. Like I know it's like kind of stupid. Be like, oh, check out my, check out my badges. Um, this was the child's badge, or no? I'm sorry. This is the Friday badge. Uh, my wife was only able to go Friday, so we just got her a pretty much the same on the back. We just got her a Friday pass. So I do have a Friday badge, a Friday badge that I get to show off. Um, but I don't, I don't have like the Saturday or Sunday passes. I was thinking about like sticking around and be like, hey, can I buy your like stupid Sunday badge for like five bucks? Um, and then this was the, uh, the child badge, so I have two of these. Hey, if someone, if someone out there on YouTube wants to trade badges, um, I'll trade you one of my, because, uh, both my kids went with me the whole weekend. Um, so we got two child passes. Uh, if someone wants, someone like me collects badges, do you want to trade for, a, a Saturday or Sunday pass, if you have an extra one of those? Hit me up, bro. Message me on, on to YouTubes. Um... I also like to show off the guidebook. So, uh, the weird thing about this guidebook, like, when I initially got it fresh, like, it literally smelled like peanuts. Like, like literal, like, the, the food. Like, peanuts. Um, like, fresh, unsalted, just natural peanuts. It was really freaking weird. Uh, but I was like, huh, it smells like peanuts. <laughs> That's nice. That's such a stupid thing. Um, initially I didn't like the cover. Um, until I stared at it a little bit more, and it, it the cover's really cool because it, um, it speaks pretty much this kind of Portland in a, in a nutshell, because there's, there's a, like, a really cool, diverse culture of, of people on this cover, uh, which is something we kind of appreciate here in Portland. Um, especially, like, this dude up here, like, he, he's basically the, the epitome of a, a dude, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't necessarily want to say hipster dude, but there's a lot of, like, chubby dudes with beards in the Portland-Vancouver area. Like, it's kind of a staple. Uh, but I, I like it because, like, basically if, if a bunch of Portlanders gain the ability to fly, this is what you would see, like, in our skies above. And we got some, there's some cool, like, evergreen trees. Uh, it almost looks like they have some snow on them. And then the cool Rose City uh, uh, emblem on the front. This is the back. Oops. Uh, see you next year. They, they had a cool app. Uh, I'm, I'm really dyslexic, so it's hard for me to remember where everything's at. They had a cool app, which I was really impressed with the way the app worked. It would be really nice if some of the, like, of all conventions did that. I know with KimoriCon, they just used the guidebook app, and they update stuff in there. And then see you next year. Oh, it's, yeah. Uh, it's gonna be through the 7th, 8th, and 9th next year. So a day, a day sooner, in 2018. Um, there wasn't too much cool stuff to go through inside. Um, they just had the, uh, they had all the guests and stuff. There's some cool, cool conventions coming up, uh, early next year and later this year, uh, in there. 
Um, I think that's about it for the guidebook. Um, I'll move on to some swag that I bought um, and kind of keeping with the guidebook. So this is kind of all the swag that they had. Uh, there was a, I really wanted to get uh, this t-shirt really, really bad. And I went in the second day to buy it and they were all out of my size. Like the, like the biggest men's size they had was a small. And that's not going to fit me because I'm freaking dad bod galore over here. Uh, I literally at least need a large, extra large preferred. Uh, but this was the only one that really spoke to me. There, there was a lot of really other cool shirts, like the Sasquatch, which is, you know, kind of a big thing in Oregon. Like that's kind of where uh, Bigfoot kind of originated. There's a cool Harry Potter one, and then a really cool Stranger Things one. Um, I really liked the the hoodie, like the it looks like a school hoodie, which is kind of neat. But this was the the brown one. There was the only one that really spoke to me. Um, as far as getting a shirt, and I couldn't get it, so I was kind of disappointed in that. Um, and then there's a cool map of the, the show floor in here, too. Uh, but moving on to some swag that I did buy. I did buy one of their lanyards, um, which I, I've been wanting for a couple of years now, which is a pretty, pretty cool lanyard. I really like the design on it, Pro City Comic Con. Um, I just, I love, I love the plain um, logo that they have for the convention. I got, I got some cool pictures of some of their banners outside. Like, I just like that. And what I really wanted was a t-shirt with just that on it. And they had those, but it was only for people working the convention. They were just a big red t-shirt with a white logo of the convention on it, which it's like, man, that's what I want. I'd rather have that. Uh, a couple flyers to show off some things that I saw. There's a cool, there's like, what's it called? Like, uh, Angle Con? Angle... Angel, angel, whatever. Some kind of con. Uh, basically, it's a uh, Seattle's premier Doctor Who and British media convention. So it's pretty much like it's like a Doctor Who convention, more or less. Um, of course, uh, the BBC does a lot more than just Doctor Who. There's a lot of cool programming on there, so I'm expecting more of this. I'm curious about. I'm not. I want to check this out. Um, it'd be cool to make a, a nice wintry trip up to Seattle. I don't know how well that's gonna go. I probably wouldn't be able to get time off working retail for Best Buy. Like, there's that's like blackout holiday. What? You can't take that off. Um, and then we saw some of the. So this is kind of a, a ridiculous thing, and I don't want my kids to get into it because it'll be too expensive. But um, it's a really cool game. There's a couple games that they do, and you can download them for free on the App Store. And then you can also get uh, these action figures, which are really, really cool and really detailed. Um, you can get those as controllers for the game. Uh, and then there's also a card game involved, uh, which I thought was, was really neat. I'm refusing to get into card games, um, anymore just because of how much money I could spend on. Um, okay, so on to swag that I also, besides the, the lanyard, uh, on the more swag that I actually bought at ZCon. Uh, so these, these are artworks, um, that a buddy of mine, uh, does. Um, he does really cool artwork. He was there selling some of his prints. Um, and I just, number one, I kind of like his art. And number two, like he's a buddy. So I got to support, got to support, got to support your friends, uh, in the media world. Uh, because I'd want somebody to support me on, on my YouTube channel. So I'm definitely going to... I got him. Uh, really cool artwork. Like I love, I love his stuff. There was a, there was another cat one that I kind of wanted to get that I think is newer. It's like a cat with a gun and he was like shoot somebody. I thought that was cool. Oh, thanks for your crackers, Mia. I will put. Uh, I think that he's got to have a website or something somewhere. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna butcher your name, sir. So if you see this video, I apologize. Uh, his name is Mike, so he's got the same first name as me. But it's uh, Sarinsky. Skarinski? One of those. It's it's right there. It's right there. It's spelled right there. Posters. Um, I know I'm probably gonna regret opening these. So there's two posters rolled up in here. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough room to show these off. Uh, yeah, it'll be alright. So, really cool. I can't get it in the screen all at once. Um, really cool Godzilla movie poster. This one is for, like, Godzilla, Mothra, 
King Ghidorah Baragon, or I forget what it's called. Um, which is really, really cool poster. Yeah, that's like Godzilla versus Baragon, Mothra, and King Ghidorah. So, poster number two. Poster number two was a great big Mario one. This is the one my son saw, and he's like, Daddy, I want that for my room. Um, and it's pretty cool. It's like old school. Uh, the artwork style is like old school Mario from like the Super Nintendo era type of deal. Um, but uh, it's got it's got like all the characters on there, all the newer the newer characters, which was pretty cool. Okay, last poster. Uh, this was a poster that I saw that I was like, man, okay, I need this poster. Um, and then I was like, well, I gotta pick out a third one for. Uh, for the deal, uh, but it's it's basically just a TARDIS, but it's it's foil, so like the the lightning, the lightning behind it shines, and then the windows are, are reflective too. Really, it's really cool. Like I'm super excited about this. I would like to take this maybe to some convention. Oh, the Doctor Who logo is shiny too. Let me get that in there. I can't miss that. Uh, <laughs> uh, Oh, and the police, the letters on the police box are also kind of reflective. On to, so I did get um, two people's autographs, which is really cool. Um, and I, I think this really made my convention experience, basically. Um, what should I talk about first? I'm going to talk about Weird Al first. So, last day of the convention, um, I decided to go see Weird Al. Um, and it was really cool for... Uh, <laughs> He charged about 40 bucks for his autograph, and then an extra 20 bucks I could get a record and um, get a picture taken with him, uh, which is probably the coolest part. You definitely gotta like, if you could take a picture with a cool celebrity, you gotta do it. Um, and I love Weird Al. He he's been like a I've just been listening to his music forever. Um, and this, so I paid an extra 10 bucks to get uh, an actual record of his newest al album signed. Uh, mandatory fun. So he says, he says, hi Mike, and then he signed Weird Al, uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, I know, just a, I wanted something really cool that you could actually hang on the wall, and that's why I went with this. Um, and then of course I paid the extra ten bucks for the, the picture with him. Um, it was weird because I, I, I expected him to be uh, kind of a lot more energetic. He was actually a pretty quiet guy, although it was the very last day of the convention relatively early in the morning, so Duke was probably tired, uh, but, uh, you know, it's like, hey, love your music, it's really cool to meet you, and he's like, thanks, man, I appreciate you coming out, and he asked me how I was, and, I don't know, it was a cool experience, um, the next, uh, autograph I got was from, um, oh my god, I'm gonna totally, uh, remember his name, it was Charles, uh, Mentez, I think, I think is his last name, I'm probably screwing up his name, and I apologize. Uh, but he does the voice of Mario. Um, he does the voice of Mario, Luigi, uh, baby Luigi and Mario, and I think uh, uh, Toad. Toad, if I remember correctly. So I had I had him sign this giant thing. Uh, this was a display at work, um, and so the way I handed it to him, it was. It was kind of upside down. It was a really cool thing because, like, he did, he pretty much talked to us in his Mario voice the whole time, which was really neat. Um, and he signed it down here to all of us. It was Super Blaine, Super Papa Mike, Super Princess Mia, your number one, uh, your pal Mario, and then he signed his, his actual name there. And then after realizing, he's like, oh, it's kind of upside down, he wrote, he wrote up here, ho ho, upside down Luigi, and then he put a, put a smiley face up there because I'm going to have to hang it. But I have to hang it upside down uh, because it's it's supposed to. Oh my god! It's supposed to be like this. Mario is supposed to be the one upside down because they're on those uh, those gravity tracks, which is kind of kind of a cool thing. Um, but that was a really cool experience as well. So moving on from cool swag, I got um, talk about cosplay. So I didn't get a ton of picture cosplay photos uh, this year. Um, 
Mostly because I, ha I had my kids with me, so it was kind of hard to take pictures of people with my trying to keep an eye on my kids and stuff too. Um, but there's a few I want to talk about. Talk about. Um, oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted. Uh, so the first one was this really cool, um, really cool girl dressed as, I think the name of the race is a Twi'lek. Um, she looked like one of the, she was kind of dressed like one of the slaves from Jabba's Palace, one of the dancers or whatever. Um, I really liked the way her, her headdress was. Um, it actually looked like it was made out of real skin and stuff, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, and just the outfit was really well made and stuff too, so that was a really neat one. I think that was one of my favorite ones. Let's totally talk about Surfer Batman. So, uh, he was dressed as the Batman from the original, like, 1960s Adam West Batman. Uh, but there's a certain episode that's just, like, really super ridiculous. Uh, it's where Batman, where the Joker challenges Batman to a, a surfing competition. And he was dressed as this Batman, and he had, like, the shark repellent bat spray in his hand. Uh, I've never, I've seen, I barely see people cosplay as this Batman. There were a couple people there this year. Um, and it's probably... Uh, because Adam West had died earlier this year and he was supposed to be at the con, which was really sad. Um, but this guy, this guy was definitely one of my favorites as far as those cosplays go. Of course, because I, I am so in love with this game, uh, this girl that cosplayed Aloy, uh, her costume was phenomenal. Like, it was really good. I wish I could have got, like, some video or something of it, but it was so busy. Uh, but she, she was really, really awesome, too. Definitely one of the best best cosplayers that I had seen at the convention this year. So I wish I had time to talk about all all the cosplayers. But I think I think I'll make this my last one. This Samus was absolutely phenomenal. Like it literally looked like she stepped right out of the video game, like like Hollywood movie level quality on this thing. Like it was so so cool. Uh, it's so well done. So much detail. Uh, just really neat. Um, I got a couple pictures of her, so uh, if you liked the cosplay photos, or you want to see more cosplay photos, there was definitely some other ones that I didn't uh, that I didn't put in the video, but they are all posted to my Facebook page, so check that out. Uh, so wrapping up the video because uh, I've talked too long and I've definitely got a lot of editing to do on this now that it's I've jumbled everything around. Real City Comic Con 2017. Really love the convention. Um, this convention has a really cool feel to it. Um, like, it just felt good being there. It almost, it felt like being at home, basically, which is you know, something I really liked. Um, I don't know, some, I guess a comfort level of being there. I don't, I don't know any other way they put it, but it had a really cool vibe to it, a really cool culture to it, and I'm excited for next year. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought was your what was your favorite part? What did you like the most? What did you like the least? Um, yes, tell me about some of the swag you got, or some of the, the... What was your favorite cosplay that you saw? Any of that. Just tell me what you thought. Um, until next time, guys, please be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video.